Hello everyone, Damien here from DK Brick Studios. So today we're doing another, doing a build talk. We haven't done one of these in a very long time. Today we are doing a, we're working on an addition to the Rapture Lighthouse, which if you've not seen the mock spotlight, not well the mock spotlight and seen my Rapture series on this, highly recommend that. Check those out. It should be carded in the video. Uh, also, we should tell, shall tell you what my to our topic is going to be today. So our topic will be uh, the vi uh, the plan uh, will be uh, how Bioshock one and two are in a different universe than Infinite Bioshock Infinite. Hope you guys are excited to hear about this. I am excited to share it with you guys. So let's get this started. We get the intro going and we'll get this started. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get this thing started. So, my theory on why Bioshock 1 and 2 are in a separate universe than what's in Infinite, than where in Bioshock Infinite is. Now, I'm also including Minerva's Den in with uh, 1 and 2 and Barrel Let's See with uh, Infinite. Alright, so, let's do this thing. So, this kind of helps me fix some of the timeline problems that I've noticed with Infinite, between Infinite, Barrel Let's See, and the M1 and 2, along with Minerva's Den. So, since Bioshock Infinite establishes this whole burial, this whole multiverse concept, which the concepts, const, uh, constants are, there might be a couple more, but the two constants that are mentioned in this, in the game at the ending, there is a man and a lighthouse. A, ci a man, a city, and a lighthouse. Now, of course, what could this mean? Well, there's always a man, there's always a city, there's always a lighthouse. Columbia had a city, with Columbia the city, there was a lighthouse that helped you get to it, and Booker was the man was the man who was going around Columbia doing stuff. Jack, there's a city. Jack was the man who went to Rapture, which is the city, and he went and he got and he found the light and he crash landed by the lighthouse. And two, Subject Delta. He was experimented uh, Big Daddy who walked around Rapture to find his sister, who ended up landing, who exited right by the lighthouse. Of course, that's where you exit anyways, but still. He went, he, he was by the lighthouse. The lighthouse exists there. So yeah, the lighthouse is important here. Those three things are important, hence why we are built, hence why, and this is kind of why this matches up with what I'm building here today. The lighthouse of Bioshock. So, yeah. So. One of the burials could be some gene-altering thing. Like a liquid. The liquid. Uh, the liquid. The vig EK, the, the, the vigorous, which is the liquid form. Or the plasmids. So, the drinkable, the, vig the vigorous, or the injectable, the plasmids. That's really how it should be. I should really have said it. Alright, so. So, we know in Rapture and Burial at Sea, they had both vigorous and plasmids. Which doesn't really make sense if you were to look at Burial at Rapture. Um, and Bio and Rapture as well. Uh, like, actually look in Rapture. Like, in the game. Like... Sitting there, I'm like, wait, where, where is this mentioning of uh, Winter's Frost or whatever the heck the one vigor was in the game? O Old Man Winter, yeah, Old Man Winter. I'm like, uh, don't we need the Winter's Blast? <laughs> or like when they got, when they're like, oh yeah, Shock Jockey. I'm like, don't you mean Electro Bolt? So yeah, they were dra these drinkable plasmids. Like, um, excuse me, don't you mean this plasmid? It just kind of felt weird to have somebody just mention the pl the bigger version of the plasma, which I'm sorry, but that's how it should be in Rapture, which kind of doesn't fit into that. It could be, it makes more sense to me to have Infinite be, and Barrelessly be in their own universe where Vigors exist. Vigors are what is the gene-altering substance, while plasmids are what give the key, give while the plasma is where you inject it into your arm, <laughs> are, are are what you use in there, which I really like, actually. I think that makes it, which I feel works better if you separate those two, one of the two. Those are one of the two things. It helps out a lot, and it makes more sense there. And 
helps understand, helps me uh, rational, uh, helps rationalize the two. Um, okay, I'm trying to. I'm reading what I've written at some point. So two. Uh, oh, there's another thing. So this was also this is a video I actually commented this on. Booker and Elizabeth appear in a different rapture than they do in the act than we see in the first game. There are differences throughout the game, like there's like some different advertisements. The one uh, doc is just is not there or is gone. Is there so, it's, it, there's something with it that's different than it is in the first game, and the one they go on is destroyed in the first. Yeah, it's obviously all different, but it's still it's different. Okay, there's actually some design elements and changes to the actual bio shot, like the actual rapture itself, to make it say. That that gets me thinking, huh? This is not Rapture. This this is not the Rapture we all know about. This is a new Rapture. What if things are different here? Well, there's something else that has happened here. What other events have taken place here? So that also kind of helps separate one and two from Infinite and Barry. Let's see, along with Minerva. That Minerva then is in there. Which if you have not played any of these games, highly recommend them. Especially one and two. Hot one and two are are the Minerva Den are the ones I highly recommend. Pick figure out if, you can decide on whether Minerva's Den and not Minerva's Den. Barry, let's see. One and two and Infinite. That's up to you. I wasn't a huge fan of that. I'll talk about that more in my subject delta build talk video about my thoughts, feelings, and all that stuff. Two hours worth of that, but you know we'll, we're talking about this theory. We're talking about this theory. Less than thirty minute video already. So yeah, um, and it helps make sense for Jack, where it, plus this also helps rationalize where Elizabeth didn't make Jack happen, and one where Elizabeth helped make Jack happen, where in 1 and 2, we have Jack act on his own, it seems like, with the would you kindly phrase, although with Elizabeth, she helps with that, although that kind of also doesn't make sense because wouldn't they need to know, wouldn't Atlas need to, Frank Fontaine need to know what the phrase is to tell Su Chong to pick? Unless, you know, Su Chong just came up with the phrase in that universe and just went, hey, here's the phrase. And, and he just wrote it down in his own code. And then went with, uh, you know... Uh, and then, you know, obviously in one, and then the Bioshock, and then the normal Bio, and then one and two universe, we just have Fontaine knowing, slash Atlas knowing about what the Quidja kindly phrase is, and he's not under a pressure to get knowing what that phrase is, because Elizabeth is not there, and not this omnipresent person who knows all these things and all that stuff, like, I must know everything kind of person. I will know everything because I had access. I I can access the doors, and now I don't have access to the doors. Kind of person. Not that I had a problem with Elizabeth. She was actually kind of cool. I will say that she was actually an interesting character. It's just that you know she just you know I just kind of felt like there was some. Uh, not, no, it's just it was like okay, it feels like okay. This is all relying on Elizabeth here. I feel like it makes. I feel like it kind of degrades Jack a bit. And Fontaine and everybody else. Like, he's Luchong. I feel like he would have been the guy who, like, he could have been the guy who figured out how plasmas work. But, I mean, Mr. Fink could have been the guy who could have figured out how to do the figures. And he could have used that machine to create the, use the tears to help figure out how to get all the information he needs to make the info, to get all the uh, drinkable liquid get all those drinkable plasmids as well in that universe, because they had that opportunity, they had that ability to. I feel like, the go, I feel like that would make more sense if they had the tears in 1 and 2, that could, you know, help explain more things here, which helps out. Now, of course, I will say this, uh, as I continue going on here, I might start bringing up this multiple, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eventually start going into this other idea of how a uh, one and two's well, alternate endings bring up a different ending for the universe, uh, or their own universes, which I'll get into that after this, but I digress. <laughs> so yeah, 
so yeah, Feng Fontaine, Fontaine and Su Chong were the masterminds behind all of this, and while Elizabeth, she, yeah, helped out with it, but somebody had to be the mastermind. Obviously, Su Chong probably was the one who figured it all out, but he needed to have Fontaine to do it. I mean, there's got to be some other mastermind, but wouldn't somebody know, wouldn't he know who Fontaine, who Atlas is? Who, who found, found Fontaine becoming Atlas? Because Atlas, you know, was going to become the guy who was going to help take over the world, take over Rapture. But, I mean, that's just a thing there. Uh, uh, it just, it feels like it makes more sense to separate these two, I'll say that. It feels like it makes more sense to separate the two when, because they don't, for me at least, feel like they fit in the same universe. They don't fit, okay? It makes more sense for me to separate the two, as like I said. Like, and I'm saying here, and it, you're welcome to comment if you agree or disagree or don't, you're welcome, you're entitled to your own opinion, but I feel like it makes sense to separate the two, build it's two universes, and if they do decide to do a new Bioshock game, they're more than welcome to continue on with the Rapture storyline, or set one in a new universe, because they've got the multiverse at hand, they can do whatever, they, I feel like they literally actually had some multiverse tech We'll do something multiverse related in this world. In this. So, yeah. As you can see here right now, I believe, yeah, I'm, screen, uh, I'm just going to comment here quickly right now what's going on on the screen. We're shrinking down the size of the uh, model uh, of the, the base plate from, like, I believe it was like an 8x8 to a 6x6. So, yeah, we're going, we're, 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 getting, we're making a bit of progress here, folks, on that model. So, yeah, we're going some places. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. No, I don't want to comment on the dude. I just want to... Okay, so yeah. Um. Uh, she... Also, okay, so now this is going to kind of lead into the other idea I have of, like, how most Bioshock 1 and 2 are, like, they're uh, each ending is a different universe, which is, like, a lot of universes, okay? <laughs> so... Elizabeth said that she had the end ending where she that one door, she sees Jack, but maybe that Jack is the good ending. So, she sees the good ending of Jack, yeah? So, one and two, the universe could be any Jack. That That's actually, that could potentially be a cluster of universes because we have one. We have three endings for Bioshock. Good, neutral, bad. Meanwhile, for three, we have six. Good, 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 neutral, 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 bad, neutral. Wait, it's only gonna give me five. Shiza. We have good, 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 neutral, 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 good, neutral, bad, bad, neutral, bad, bad. There. However you take it. There are six endings. I've only seen two of the endings. Actually, I've seen them on the, on the internet. They're not, they're, they're interesting. But yeah. So, we have, dear God, that's a lot of permutations. You can have each universe separating out. It's like each separation out. So, Jack could be good in one ending, but we can have Subject Delta go bad in the other ending. Just to get to Eleanor. Or, he's good in one universe. And... Delta's good in another universe, or he's good in one universe, he, Jack has been neutral in one universe, and Delta's been neutral in another universe, just killing half of the, killing, and killing all the, all the people, and saving all the little sisters, or just killing one of the guys and saving everybody else, and all the little sisters, like, you know, there's so many levels to this thing, I'm not joking, you can, I don't have, I'm not, I don't remember how to calculate the number of permutations to this thing. <laughs> but it's a lot. So yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, that, that, yeah. I feel like, okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna kind of go back to the, so yeah, that whole thing is its whole thing that kind of expands out into that, so we're gonna kind of bring in some more explanations about why I feel like 1 and 2 are their own separate universe. I'm kind of, I know I'm kind of a bit cluster over all over the place, it's not, I'm not trying to do that, it's just, my brain, ADHD, it's not the greatest thing to keep things organized, okay, and if you 
want to add to help contribute to this uh, theory, you're more than welcome to. So yeah, um, we have let's say so there is one in two, so in one in one's universe. I'm just going into one's one's universe because it's much more easier to say. Jack, we see we should we we can say fun. Uh, Gil Gilbert Alexander was able to figure out how to bond Parabon, the two, the Big Daddy and the Little Sister together. Delta and Elnor. Right? And so Elizabeth had figured had to figure help and in, in the other universe, Elizabeth had some intervention in that with the whole uh, little girl and all that. Although I feel like there's another there's another thing behind that in the other universe. I don't know what that is, but I feel like it could have involved them helping the big dad, realizing they should help, wanting to help the big daddy, and to, and not being scared because normally they, they shouldn't be scared of that. I don't really feel like it's, they should be scared, but whatever. And then they build a. Uh, then of course you know we have Yi Su Chong. You know, like I said, he should be. I feel like he's smart enough to actually know what he's doing in that universe. I feel like he's that smart enough. He's uber smart to figure out what the heck he's building. <clears throat> like, ah, oh, yes. There, I need that. I need to build the thing. I need to build my, uh, I need to grab the, um, I need the, I need, I know what I'm doing here. While the other one is like, okay, I'm going to go plagiarize the other dude. Me and this other guy are going to keep plagiarizing, uh, plagiarizing off the other. Or stealing, I should say. They're, they were stealing. To put it light, to put it properly, <laughs> they were stealing from each other. And right now, I'm getting myself ready to actually build the uh, lighthouse because at the moment, at the time I actually was recording when I was recording this, I was actually waiting to do to start my math class. So you know, yeah, probably not the best of ideas to be doing when I was waiting to start math. But I mean, whatever, I did what I did. So yeah. Uh, Plus, I feel like with Bioshock 1 and 2, with Infinite Universe, the whole layout where uh, <clears throat> we have Mr. Sander Cohen's room, that whole place feels, doesn't match to how the other room is, the other layout is, in the other universe. There's no way they could have just done a whole retransformation of that universe, in that world, of that section of the room, in one go. There's no way. Okay, I don't, I doubt it that Fontaine, that, that Andrew Ryan sat there and be like, okay, we're remodeling this entire room, we're closing off all the sunlight, we're closing off all the, we're getting rid of all the windows here. But no, I don't, I doubt that. I highly doubt that he would actually do that. And it just doesn't look like the one that we see in the actual game, which I feel like, which does add to the reason why we are in a different universe than what the first one is. And can explain why, oh, hey, Mr. Fontaine boy, we need you to, uh, like, Fontaine and Atlas, you know, they are obviously doing their thing. What else could be a good example for why this seems a thing? My God, there's some sections of the place that's, like, I don't think that's ever like they're they don't feel like they are a rapture like they 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 look li like not like they don't feel like rapture they feel like a different rapture like Booker Dewitt's office it doesn't exist in um the one game of course yes of course that's because it was made, probably added after but it would make sense to include that to at least include like a detective's office in the universe where, you know, Fontaine and Co. Where, where they, you know, would be grow learning, were living, you know, where, you know, where the guy would be working, where a de private detective were, but no, there is none. There is no sign of a de private detective's office at all in there, and I don't see any, like, like, the buildings that we see there are not like the ones we see in the game, and one, like, the, like, the shops do not look like the ones we see in there, even the interior, like, the interiors do not match up either. So yeah, they they have 
definitely redone. They def this definitely fits the whole idea. Like they're in two separate universes because although they were although they although it shouldn't make well, I was going with something, but I forgot it. My brain. Wonderful thing. Waiting for that software update. I'm always promised. I've been promised, but never getting it. I'm probably never going to get it. But the, uh, ever like, even though it's destroyed the area, you should be able to notice. You should be able to recognize. Okay, yeah, this is how that room should look like. No, it doesn't look like how it is in the game. In the in in, in barely seen. No, it doesn't look like that. No. So yeah, I feel like Infinite's Rapture, Barely Seen's Rapture, is a pre. War, barely let's see. Pre-war rapture. And then the rapture we see in the game is... And then the rapture we see at the end of Infinite is a nicer rapture. It's like the rapture at some point during a, in the midst of a conflict or something. Maybe a bit before the conflict. It helps... It, it, to me, it helps stay, uh, keep the things separate. Because you know they they they, they sh it, it don't feel like they fit together. And trust me when I say this, you, you, if you're going to do something like that where you want your two items to connect, you should be able to have them feel like they fit, like they need to fit, like a puzzle piece. But no, this doesn't fit like a puzzle piece. This fits more like they feel like they're two separate universes in of themselves, which to me. Gives me the idea they're two separate universes. Oh, just to quickly take a second right now, uh, stop. We're working on the lighthouse. We're actually getting, uh, we're figuring out ways to actually kind of, at this moment, figuring out a way to build the actual lighthouse. Like, how am I going to go about building it? But yeah, uh, that's kind of how we're doing it right now. That's not the final version of how the technique I'm doing it, but we're. You'll see. You'll see the final technique soon. So yeah, uh, there's that. Obviously, um, there's not much left to talk about regarding that. I mean, I don't think there's ever been a mention of Fontaine's department store. Which, if there was, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's basically the re the the remnants of that's pretty much what was for him, uh, Persephone. Perse and her, the Persephone was where they put all the criminals in there and all that, left them up, you know, locked them up and all that, you know, uh, did all this stuff to them, but no, they, there's no mention of that, there's nothing of that in there, uh, there's nothing really there about it, um, you gotta, you can't really say, oh yeah, that's part of, Bi no, it, it doesn't feel like it, like I say, it's not a part, it doesn't feel like a part of Rapture. If it's going to be a part of Rapture, you should make it feel like it is. It needs to connect. Like That's kind of like one of the things like with the MCU. It connects. All of it connects together. Meanwhile, this it, it feels like it's two separate universes. Along with the whole cluster of universes that are come with the separate, uni separate outcomes. From which one you pick, which, oh my god, that's a lot of outcomes, trust me. There's, each outcome has six, each Bioshock ending has six outcomes to it, so, I'm clearly doing the math in my head, jeez, okay, so, I think that's like, what, 18, 18 outcomes? I honestly don't know how to do that number, to be perfectly honest. But hey. How to do that. But if I'm wrong about that number, please let me know. I'd love to hear your uh, hear what the proper thing is. As I've been mentioning, Rapture, I feel like it's its own, like each, the two plays, two games are their own universes, and I mean, you're welcome to subscribe to the theory, if you don't subscribe to the theory, I mean, I'm not gonna be like, oh, boo-hoo, oh, damn, you don't, 
subscribe to my ideas, you should, how dare you know. If you don't subscribe to it, go ahead, you know, leave a comment down below what you think, okay? I'm happy to hear thoughts and comments down below, you know? I'm always happy to hear your thoughts. I'm even happy to hear what you think of this theory. Like, this theory is actually a really interesting one, and I feel like it could really be plausible. Uh, and, like, I said, like, Rapture in, at the end of Infinite is way different than how it looks like, in the Welcoming Center and all that, like, the little bit we see there is different than how we see it in the beginning of the game. So, yeah, we have some work there. There's some, there's some actual similar differences there, which is kind of a big thing. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making this for you guys. Well, no, I'm not. Uh, well, we're going to kind of wrap up all this. So, like I said, drop this up quickly. Bioshock 1 and 2 and Infinite are in two separate universes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you guys also enjoyed the theory. Um, I enjoyed making this video for you guys. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications. Check out DK Break, DK Gaming Studios. You might just link it in the description down below. All my friends will arrive. Link to that is also in the description down below. Also, check out my social links. Those are in the description down below. And also, <clears throat> uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, this is the beginning of the conversation. So, comment down below what you think of this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. And remember, we support the fourth of others. We love you always. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Chasing the dark